Hello there. Uh, this is the another edition of five minute tutorial with publisher. I'm using Microsoft publisher and I want to complete this tutorial in under five minutes. Oh, I forgot to turn on the timer. So I just got this little dandy timer here. It's not the best, but if somebody can give me the one that doesn't have all of these things here, that would be great. But I want to show you how to do a very simple trick here. I've been using this trick for quite some time. And I think this is very useful for people that don't have like Adobe and any of these uh, big name uh, publishing software. So if you wanted to create a logo for your company or any transparent image at all, you already have Microsoft Suite publisher being one of them so the trick I'm going to show you right now you can actually use this uh, with any of the Microsoft Office suite so to start with I've already um, put image object here and I've already put a text object here as well so I just want this to be the, the way it is right now, these two colors. But if I wanted to make these uh, a white, I could basically double click this and I can go to recolor and I would change the color to whatever I want. But this color is what I like right now. So to do this uh, transparent logo, the only thing we have to do right now is to combine these two images. I'm pressing shift and pressing the two objects and I will group these two images and they will become one as you can see the object has become one object and for you to make this uh, extract this now as a transparent logo you just click on these and then right click it save so you're going to save this as a picture that object that we've just combined right now you can see already I've done a couple of these and I'm actually using this for some of my uh, things that I do so right here one more thing that you could do here you could see that you could actually change the resolution of the image to maybe web standard only or printing standard which is 150 dpi or you could uh, actually use for high commercial uh, press up to 300 dpi that would be a very large image so i'm just going to keep this at a standard printing right now so i've already selected the object and i have this show up here and i'm going to save that image image picture for so that picture i just saved it right now and I will go to my folder where I saved the image at. As you can see, this is picture four right here. So I'm going to, I have so many uh, image editing software here. So I have to select the one that would easily show me this thing. So right now you can see that this image is actually transparent image because the background of the image is showing in black and also one more thing you have to remember is that you can actually um, for you to retain the transparency of the background this picture has to be saved as a PNG image so um, I think we're done with this. We, we were able to accomplish this under one uh, four minute. Now, if you have any other um, trick that you want me to do a video on for five minutes, please put it on the comments down below and um, I will take a look at it. But for now, I hope using Microsoft Office or Publisher to create your logo or image with a transparent background with a tutorial that I've just done right now will be very useful for you in your work every day. Leave a comment if you like it. Until next 
uh, five-minute tutorial. I will see you soon.